Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Welcome to a lesson on the area of a rectangle. Let's take a look at what area is. Area is the squares that you would use to cover the face of a shape. You can calculate the area of a rectangle by counting or by multiplying. So we're first going to use the formula area equals length times width. That is the multiplying. The counting is a little bit more complex, but it would look like this. If you drew lines on there, measured out, this one's three centimeters by two centimeters, you could count the number of squares that actually cover the face. So you can look at that rectangle, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six squares that cover the face. And that might work for some smaller rectangles, but oftentimes you'll use this multiplying method using that formula that I put up there earlier, length times width. Notice that the answer we got six is the same thing as if you multiply those two numbers, three times two. Three times two will give you six. And your answer for area is always in square units because remember it's the squares that cover that face. So the area of this rectangle is six square centimeters because it would be six squares that are one centimeter by one centimeter to cover it. Again, this visual was to help you see what area is, but typically when you're calculating area, you're going to use the formula that is here on the right and just multiply length times width. Let's do some practice multiplying length times width. So go ahead and calculate the area using the formula. Three, two, one, pause and practice, go. Welcome back, the formula is length times width. So we can do five times four, which gives us 20 square inches. That's the area of this rectangle. Now, if instead you did four times five, you would get the same exact answer, and that's okay. Honestly, with length and width in this equation, you can switch them back and forth. That would be just like turning the rectangle from side to side. All right, let's try one if I put the rectangle on an angle like this. Now it's an angle rectangle. Go ahead and use that formula length times width to calculate the area of this rectangle. Go. Our area is length times width. Length is six, width is one. Six times one is six, six square meters. And that's exactly how we calculate the area. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging and give you a question without any picture as a reference. So you might get a question like this, calculate the area of a rectangle with a length of seven feet and the width of eight feet. You'll still use the formula area is length times width, but you're going to have to put in those values without seeing a picture. Look at the question, the word problem, and find what is the length, put that in for L. Look at the word problem, what is the width? Put that in for W and multiply those two numbers. Try it out. Did you do seven times eight and get 56 square feet? If so, good job. So that's exactly how it will work with word problem, not word problems, with no picture problems where they just give you the information written. And the last thing, what is the word problem? And you'll get a word problem something similar to this. Fred is laying flooring in a rectangular room. It's 15 feet wide and 12 feet long. How many square feet of flooring does he need to buy? So we know we're looking at a rectangle and we're trying to calculate the area, right? That's how many square feet of flooring will cover the entire surface of it. So we are going to use that formula of length times width. Go ahead and pause and try that one out. Go for it. All right, when we multiply those numbers 12 times 15, we get 180 square feet as our answer. Fred will need at least 180 square feet to cover that room. If there's cut off, then he might need to buy an extra box. All right, a couple things to remember. Finding the area of a rectangle is multiplying and the formula is always length times width. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.